Something's made a fine mess of them. It appears the fighting wasn't all that long ago. There might still be enemies nearby. The absurdity of battle never ceases to amuse me. What's her deal? She a Kavesi soldier? Uh, she's coming this way. Lives are so easily lost and in service to all manner of nonsense. Truly, this is why. We'll never be able to stop fighting. Wouldn't you agree? Um, can we? So then, did you, uh, did you help us out just now? Uh oh, we're not out of the woods just yet. Seems we have some new guests coming. Huh? We're surrounded. Only one thing for it. Yeah. Get ready. <laughs> oh, aren't you all just adorable? This ain't the time for jokes. <laughs> I guess you're right. It's way too early to start laughing. Because the fun is only just getting started. Just now. Those were Kavesi soldiers. Ah, well spotted. Their forces from Colony 11 up ahead. And going by your appearance, I'd say you're also a Kavesi soldier. Hmm? Who? Me? Tell us who you are. What colony are you from? Hmm. Well then, if you absolutely must know, I'm the commander of Colony 11, whose soldiers just attacked us. Wow, cool. Wait, what? Huh? Their commander? Hang on, back it up. If you're the commander of Colony 11, then you're... a Shearer, the Undying Blade. Undying? What in the Queen's name? She meant to be some kind of celebrity. There ain't a defender worth their salt in all of Kevers who hasn't heard of her. She's the commander of a silver rank colony, in the running for the strongest person in Kevez. Getting back on topic, you're telling us you were attacked by your own colony. Hmm. I suppose I am telling you that. But why? What for? Well, I guess I have given them a couple of reasons. These things happen, you know. Anyway, I'm going to remove Colony 11 from the equation. You guys want to come with? Huh? Come with? Why? 
Uh, sorry? Now it's open season. This is all kinds of stupid. But you're talking about your own colony. Your mates. You'll just go off and fight them. Sure. One rarely gets to enjoy a battle such as this. Also, I have my own reasons for killing them. Besides, sitting back and letting them keep taking swings at me is not my style. It's just... no fun that way. I don't think you meant to say that part out loud. Well, but... why are you inviting us to join you? Huh? So you're telling me you're not the great and terrible Ouroboros? Huh? Y you knew? Come now. I've heard this personally from the Queen. Every commander alive knows about you lot. As I hear it, you're some kind of rebels going around wrecking colonies' flame clocks. That's outrageous. Well, it's also true, mostly. But we don't do it just for the fun of it. It sounds like you're not everyone's favorite person right now either. What's your goal? <laughs> Surely it's self-evident, no? On the battlefield, you have one of two options. Fight and live, or fight and die. Oh. When considering the pure act of trading life back and forth, there's no separation into enemies and allies. Not for the killers, nor for the ones being killed. That's something you soldiers should get. More so now you've rebelled and made sure everyone wants your heads. Like I keep saying, nobody here did that on purpose. I'm sure. Everyone has their own way of thinking. I'm not trying to say otherwise. In any case, there's a place for you on my battlefield, if you feel like joining. I'm sure Colony Eleven will give you a warm welcome. <laughs> Though maybe not the one you'd wish for. What is her problem? What in the Queen's Snow White Wings does she want from us? I don't know. But she certainly seems to be after something. Good to add more names. More colonies added. Whoa, check this place out. Oh, don't tell me. Have you actually decided to accept my invitation? Well, you know, we do owe you for helping us before. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone entering the Wolf's Den just because they owe someone. <laughs> but how are you even planning on fighting a whole colony alone? D charging at them head on? Ah, you must be the tactician. Got it in one point, Dexter. You're insane. Oh, come now. We live in a world of strife, of constant, unending war. And you question my sanity? Know what? Just sounds like suicide to me. Maybe you really have lost it. You knew that's too far. Even for you. Okay, but you did hear her, right? My colony, Colony Eleven, guards the castle and it's rightly hailed as being impregnable. Not a single Agnian soldier has ever broken through, not even once. I fought long and hard to defend this colony. And now I'm going to bring it down. Just one woman. Can you think of anything more satisfying than that? I know I can't. You know what else you're not thinking of? The moment they open fire and turn you to mincemeat. How's that for a punchline? If that happens, I'll do my soldierly duty and turn into a lovely corpse. Oi! <laughs> I'm touched by your concern, but they won't be killing me that easily. All of you, I'm sure you've overcome your own share of hairy situations. We can do this. <sighs> what would you know? You don't know a thing about us. Don't be such a worry wart, Uni. We can do anything if you've got our backs. You're awfully enthusiastic about this, Lance. Y you reckon? Now I think about it, you've known about Ashira since the start. Do you maybe... Shut up! She's the best defender in Kevez! I'm just some nobody. If somebody told you you get to fight alongside a legend, wouldn't you jump at the chance? <laughs> what an awfully nice thing to say. 
I'll be looking for some great things from you. Uh, uh, lands, was it? What? Uh, 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 I... Oh, give me a break. Well then, my dear Ouroboros fellows, what say we sally forth? The battle awaits us, one that's sure to prove a most thrilling distraction. <laughs> It's always good to have a few good battle buddies. Says the woman who leaps into the thick of it by herself. A surprise attack. Cute. Come on in. Use your attacks, folks. Eyes over here. You're a lucky player, man. Gang is causing waves. You were completely ruthless with my lot. Do you have to talk about us like that? Just so you know, we actually were trying to go easy on them. Oh, no need to hold back. You can wipe the floor with them. That's me giving you the green light as their commander. I heard of some terrible commanders before, but this one takes the biscuit hands down. You know, there's rumors that some soldiers in Colony 11 are crazy tough. Is that right? Yep. The way I heard it, they have snipers who can shoot you from behind a mountain. Or specialists who can read your mind. Bollocks. Those aren't even good rumors. Ooh, now this sounds interesting. Is there anything they said about me? Huh? Oh, um, yeah. I mean, they might have mentioned some things. Go on, try me. Even though I can probably guess. They call you Ashira, the Undying Blade. A heroic commander famed throughout Kevers. Another name they use is... Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That suicidal maniac. <sighs> okay, I see. Wow, that kind of sucks. Oh, definitely. I was prepared for anything. But this... It's... It's just so bland, so boring. I was hoping for something with more zest, more bite. That's what you're hung up on. If you're finished chatting, I'd like us to get moving. And hey, don't forget, we're smack dab in the middle of enemy territory. Oops, you're right. Not much time until reinforcements come. I'm feeling a little miserable, but I can take it all out of my men. No problem. Yep, it's official. We found the worst commander. Ooh. Stay in! 
Fighting power! Ooh. Heads up. Second wave. Not to worry. Just stick to the plan. Keep your attacks focused. Eyes over here! Your is only a stone's throw away. The final battle is nigh, ladies and gents. Before that, there's one thing I want to confirm. Who is leading the enemy? A type of person you should know very well by this point. Care to make a guess? A consul. I knew it. That idiot has delusions of being a tactician. She's the very definition of a narcissist. I'm sure right now she's drunk on the feeling of controlling the soldiers like puppets. So those soldiers? She's just flinging them at us against their will, trying to beat us down. Ugh, what a snuffing creep. 
makes me want to hurl. I wouldn't pay that too much attention. My guys are enjoying themselves regardless. Oh, really? And how exactly do you figure? Can't you tell from how much of a fight they've been putting up so far? They're seriously coming for blood! Well, mostly mine, of course. So, what? Uh, the Consul doesn't even need to force Colony Eleven to attack us? Seems like a stretch, even considering our current company. I couldn't say for certain. They're the same as I am, after all. The more you say, the less I understand. Are you just gonna keep skirting around it? Oh, now, no need to sweat the finer details. All you need to do now is enjoy the fight for what it is. The next battle will be even tougher, which is to say, that much more fun. have arrived. Or perhaps I should call you beasts, driven by my hounds. So you're the consul for Colony Eleven. Ouroboros scum. Have a care for how you address me. With a single order, I could have you creatures crushed this instant. <sighs> it appears you understand. Now stay right there. I will dispose of you later. What? First, I'll deal with you, former Commander Ashira. Step forward. Hey, rude. With all due respect, Madam Consul, you called us traitors just now. If I, never mind them, am to be accused of the crime of treason, I'm afraid the Great Consul will have to enlighten us as to the reason. Beasts that we are. You are as impudent as ever. But I will explain to you this one time. You engage in battle without orders. Use deviant tactics in battle. You openly violate military regulations. And your worst crime of all, multiple unforgivable slight towards a consul. Don't bother trying to deny it. All of the soldiers here have witnessed this. And as a result, we have brought many victories for Gethers. Aren't glory and military success what the consul desires? And when did I hand out such orders? Never forget that all of you are pawns. A pawn acts as it is placed on the form. A pawn that acts on its own has no more worth than the mud under my boot. Sure, talking to her own soldiers like that. However, well, throwing away a silver colony, no matter how rotten, is hardly the action of a wise woman. At present, bringing Colony 11 under my direct control is the more pressing matter. So, you have no further use for me. I should think a suicidal maniac like you would cherish being destroyed by her countrymen. You. Shut your rotten mouth. I see. Then it seems you have been laboring under several misconceptions, Madam Consul. <sighs> How foolish. You'll use this chance to spout more drivel. Until now. Colony Eleven would rush off to battle wherever you waved your hand. But you see, we did it because we wish to. If there was a battle we felt was worthy of us, we soldiers would give our lives fighting it.
That's all we ever wanted. My soldiers. And myself. <laughs> what are you driving at? Looking at it another way. Nothing else matters to us but that. Not even fighting against people who were our allies until only yesterday. And not even obeying someone who isn't worthy of being our master. Is it dawning on you yet? What? What are you blathering about? The pawns you thought were faithful to you were truly worth less to you than the mud under your boot. Since the very beginning. Cease your confounded blathering! This instant! How dare you! Oh, this is getting on my nerves. If it's all the same to you, I'd really like to drop it now. So, come and kill me, if you can. If death is what you seek, I'll be delighted to grant you it. You worthless! Wow! She turned into a monster! Now I've seen everything. <laughs> Getting scared, are you? Do I look scared? No, you really don't. Just forget it. Ashira, don't underestimate her. She's not like anything else you've fought. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. Well then, Ouroboros. Time for the fight we've all been waiting for!
You creatures. You're all pawns. Nothing but pawns. She's still alive. Hmm. What's wrong? Go on. Kill me. Isn't that what you want? You animal. Hmm. Nope. What? What? Queen's wings, have you lost the snuffing plot? She's Mobius, she's the enemy. Yeah, but ending it like this... How should I put it? Oh, I know. It's a waste. <sighs> Are you insane? In fact, never mind. Forget I asked. And there you have it, Madam Consul. You can make a strategic retreat. Do whatever, I don't mind. If you're planning revenge, by all means, pay Colony Eleven another visit. You... You... Bitch! Or, if you actually, definitely, do want to die, I have no qualms in speeding you along. Oh, you will pay for making me look a fool. You'll pay dearly! <laughs> The Consul. Mobius. She's more dangerous than you know. Oh, I know that. That's why I'm expecting big things from her. Wow. I don't know what to say. This woman is something else. Right. A victory needs fireworks. Make it something big. You came all this way. Um, is she saying what I think she's saying? She does have a point, I suppose. You guys are a silver colony. You sure about this? Didn't you hear my speech? I said nothing else matters. Not to us. So? Got you. Here we go! There. You're all free now. No need to fight. No need to take life from others. Hmm. I wonder if you can really call that freedom. Hmm? Care to explain? My soldiers and I, we were never fighting for the sake of earning life in the first place. Back up, back up. Surely you had to be, right? I mean, that's the usual setup. True, true. Normally you'd fight to keep the clock fed. Only natural. Otherwise, you're dead. But for us, we live so we can fight. It's how we've lived our lives. Living to fight sounds kind of awful. You must understand, now that you've crossed blades with my troops, they didn't follow the Consul's orders because they were frightened for their lives. We were using the situation we're in to our advantage. Huh? What's the point of that? I should think it's obvious. We hope that someday we can have a proper fight to the death. With mighty warriors like you. I've taken part in all these battles to make that dream real. That's all. I... I... No, not I see, Senna. Just think about it for a sec. These guys have been killing each other, having their own little murder party. It's crazy. Yep, if you're gonna be blunt about it, then that's exactly what it was. That doesn't make it any better. All this living to fight crap. How many lives will you need to take before you're satisfied? Or maybe you want to die, is that it? Yes. I want to die. <sighs> Good try. <laughs> Wait. You ain't serious. Is it that surprising? A soldier like you should... Grow the snuff up. Grow up, I said. So you want to fight? You want to die? What the snuff is your problem? You come out with all this highfalutin crap, but really, that console was right about you. You're nothing but a bloodthirsty beast, aren't you? 
Hang on, Uni. You listen. You ain't gonna involve us in your stupid suicidal quest. Just leave us alone, all right? Uni, that was out of... Point Dexter. Wow, I am pretty exhausted after all this. I think I'll take a load off somewhere. Oh, you can all make yourselves at home. Consider it a thank you for joining the fight. Ashira, shouldn't we...? Well then, I'll be off. What you do is up to you. Uni, that was not cool. I want you to apologize later. Please tell me you're not taking her side. Everyone should be free to choose how they want to live their life. Wasn't Ethel the same? Oi, she's nothing like Ethel, got it? Well, that's for sure. But you did kind of go overboard there. Uni, I know how you feel, but could... Fine, you win, whatever. I'll talk to her, will that do? Sure. Hey. Hmm? Um, I mean, well, I, I want to talk about before. I'm sorry. I went too far. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm being serious here. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. It's just, you surprised me. And I don't think you went too far. What you said was the unvarnished truth. And that stuff about wanting to die? Even without flame clocks, people die at some point. Be it sooner or later. So, before that happens, I want to leave my mark on this world. Some kind of proof that we were here in the short time we've been given. For me, that is what I want to achieve by dying. Sorry, I still don't get it. It seriously just sounds like you want to destroy yourself. Dying to fight and fighting to die are different, though they might sound the same. If I can make my death mean something, then I can finally prove my life had value. Live fiercely, die spectacularly. That's how I want the battlefield of my life to be. Well, all that said, looking from the outside, all people see is the suicidal maniac. And Colony 11 is the last refuge for people like us. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I don't see the joke. You really are insane. <laughs> how many times have you said that today? But, you know. Hmm? At least now I get that you're not enough of an idiot to throw yourself off the top of here. And your life really is yours to do with as you see fit. It's not my place to go off on you just because we don't see eye to eye. Besides, the way you fight, fearless and fierce and all that, honestly, it's kind of awesome. Yeah? I think so, eh? What? Revving up for another dig? No. How do I put it? No one's ever talked that way to me before. I guess... I'm happy? Maybe? You ain't embarrassed, are you? You! <laughs> this is priceless! Yeah? Couldn't you tell I was joking? 
I really seriously hate you. Oh, that hurts. And here I was taking a liking to you. I mean, from now on, we're all fellow rebels. So, you know. You and I should be friends, Uni. Oh, something. Are you tired? And now we know things. We can rest a while. That'd be welcome. I'm seriously knackered. <laughs> <laughs> 